Well, hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, Miss Ina. <laughs> I'm just here again at the park, and as you can see behind me, walking my beautiful puppy, Bella. Bella, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so I'm just here enjoying the weather, even though I'm still under the weather. I'm getting better. Um, if a lot of you guys see my video that I uploaded Friday I was feeling awesome with great energy and you know and I just thought that finally I'm getting better after a few days of feeling you know crappy no energy my body was aching I felt like I was in a fight without even knowing it and I got beat up so I was given you know medication and I was taking it as instructed but for some reason, uh, Saturday I woke up again feeling achy and all that and so forth. And today, Sunday, I woke up a little achy as well, but with somewhat more of an energy to at least step out and do some errands at least. So I'm happy about that. So the point of this video today, guys, I have been watching that there's this tag video of that's that sh I don't like so you know a lot of the things I was like oh my gosh <laughs> that's so true that's so true oh my god I wish I can you know just name a few things I don't like but you know I'm gonna do something similar to that I don't you know personally I'm not trying to knock nobody out there that has done this video or thinking about doing them I just don't want to make a video just talking about negative things that I don't like so I'm just gonna you know twist it up a little bit and basically change it around and instead of calling it you know that's that sh I don't like I'm just gonna name the things it's just gonna call be called those are the things I like and those are the things I don't like so what I'm gonna do is basically name things that I don't like and then versus the things that I do like so I'm gonna name some positive and negative things I just don't want to make just all negative things you know because you know I just I want to stay on a positive note like I said I'm not trying to knock anybody down or judge anyone that wants to you know that has the preference of just making you know those type of videos to each his own but I prefer to do this because I don't know I just I think it's a way of you guys to getting to know me a little better you know and just just be fun with it you know I just want to have fun with this you know I just want to name the good things and the bad things so with that being said let's get started okay so I'm going to start with the things that I do like or should I do the things that I don't like and then you know do the opposite yeah let's do that so one of the things that I don't like is uh, I don't like when let's say there's uh, some type of drama between two females and it turns out to get ugly or whatever the case might be obviously one or the other doesn't want to be the bigger person and take the responsibility to just walk away or whatever and it turns into a group thing I don't like that if me and you are having an issue it should be between me and you it shouldn't be it starts with me and you and then you bring your whole like potsy and your family into it that's not right if it started between me and you let's end it between me and you okay so on the positive note one of the things I do like you know tagging back into the whole fighting thing for me personally when I'm upset or I mean I use this for any occasion when I'm sad when I'm happy or just when I'm bored or whatever whenever it's available to me I tend to do this I like to write I like to express my feelings it makes me feel good like per se if it's you know an argument or whatever a case might be or something that I'm just feeling that I can't really express to the person or express in any scenario 
Uh, I think writing is a very good way to express those feelings and let out. Oh my God, I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, I'm under the weather and I'm dealing with my nose being stuffy sometimes and being de- decongested at times. Oh, it's annoying. So please don't get disgusted. <laughs> So yeah, um, writing, it's one of the forms in which I express some of my feelings and let them out. And instead of being angry all day, writing is a way to just let it all out. Let it all out. So yeah, writing. Now, another thing that I don't like are, I'm not here to judge anyone. You know, I'm a child of God. Try to stay on the positive note. So, I'm not, like I said, I'm not criticizing anyone. But the some of the things that are a little like, oh my God, are you serious? Are, I'm not going to say girls, females that do not dress appropriately. According to either the body type or the place in which we are. You know, you, you, you can't dress with like a tight short dress when you're voluptuous because you know if you have to bend down things are going to be seen or guys are going to try to talk to you and approach you in a very inappropriate way so you can't get mad when you get the type of attention that's what you're calling for so yeah girls like i said females sorry who dress inappropriately you know, within the body types and the timing. I mean, in the place that we are. Another thing that I do like is dancing. I love dancing. It's another form of expressing yourself. Um, again, and it's also exercise. It's just so much fun when you get into dancing, whether it's by yourself, with a friend, or, you know, as a group thing. And you guys have this specific choreography going on. I love it. I grew up dancing. So dancing is another thing that I love to do in my spare time. To also let some stress out. Release anger. Anything that you're going through. If you like dancing. For those who know about dancing. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you just feel so much better. It's kind of like a, a mind and body therapy. You know. It feels good. All right, so now another thing I don't like is when a female is with her boyfriend and for some reason, right, Bella, for some reason, (laughs) they think that you are checking their boyfriend out and they give you the dirty look because they're ready to fight you. Girlfriend, I don't want your boyfriend. I have my own. I'm not that type of girl. I understand that there are some females out there who really don't care and are very disrespectful because I have experienced that. I be with my fiance and there are guys that be checking. I mean, sorry. Oh my gosh. There are girls checking him out and they really don't care. They don't care that I'm sitting right next to him. It's like saying, F you, girl. So, sorry that I keep looking back, guys, but, ow, like I said, I'm in the park, and we all know that we have creeps out here, but it seems like it's just squirrels uh, just wanting to mess with me. Okay, well, I'm going to sit back down. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, with that being said now, something positive. Cooking. I love cooking when I'm not feeling lazy, but I do. <laughs> I do like cooking. Again, cooking is another way which I use to show my love to my loved ones and my friends. I love to be like that caretaker slash caterer. So whenever I have people coming over my home, it's like I'm always... I feel like I'm in a restaurant. Like, I'm always like, okay, are you okay? What do you want? Do you need this? Do you need that? You know, and people love that about me. They love that I'm always on top of whatever, you know, and they're never missing anything. So, yeah, cooking, it's very fun for me. Like, it's just like a way to express my inner chef in a way. (laughs) I express a lot of my creativity through cooking. Um... I'm also learning to channel my old ways of cooking, meaning 
being raised in a Hispanic household, cooking Spanish food, I'm learning to do different type of dishes. It's just fun. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so another thing that I don't like is females who talk very aggressively. Uh, slash, don't want to offend anybody, but get them. I don't like it. I don't want to use the word hate, but Bella, don't do that. My dog is eating like, she's like chewing off from the plant and I don't know what she's doing. I don't know. She's just, oh. Sometimes <laughs> she could be a pain also. So like I was saying, um, yeah, I don't like when females, they around other females feel like they have to talk aggressively and just like prove a point what's what's the point of that sometimes silence speaks louder than you making noise to be honest like you don't have to speak loud and you don't have to speak aggressively to prove to anyone that you are you know i guess you're not weak it, it's not attractive and as a female sometimes it's like really you're not trying to prove anything to me so on counter on that cleaning yes cleaning I can be sometimes a little obsessive when it comes to cleaning cleaning to me is another outlet of also a uh, stress reliever um, sometimes when I'm upset or having an argument with my fiance or I'm just not feeling like whatever and feeling bored cleaning is another way that i used to just use my time and it's something positive you know what's wrong with cleaning you you're cleaning your home you're airing out the aura and so on and so forth so yeah cleaning is one of the other positive things that i like to do to also release <laughs> Okay, so something else. Do, 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 do. Okay, I don't like when. Oh, this is a good one because I actually experienced this on like on a one-on-one -on -one situation. I don't like how still to this day, 2012, there's still people out there that do not approve, or I guess they just don't like interracial couples. Don't know why, don't understand it. I mean, we have to respect everyone's opinions, but come on people. We're in 2012, get over it. I'm, I'm sorry to sound so bitter and upset and like, oh my gosh, why are you being so inconsiderate? But come on, for real, get over it. Like, like I said, we are in 2012. You know how many people out there have mixed their races? Like, it just gets me upset because you know, I'm Hispanic. I get confused for being black. I have nothing against black people. I'm not a racist. But because I am dark skinned, automatically I'm assumed to be black. And my fiance is white. He's white Jewish. Okay. Boo hoo. You know, this one time this lady, we got on the train and she genuinely got upset. Like, she was giving me the dirty look and was like, <sighs> Huffing and puffing, talking about, I can't believe this. So, like I said, because she probably assumed I'm black, you know, which is nothing wrong with that, but I guess she figured I'm one of her, you know, one of her peoples, and I'm over here with a white guy. Lady, seriously? Seriously. I don't care what you think. I am who I am, and I'm going to choose who I want to be. I don't have any preferences. It just happened. Then I fell in love with a white guy. And he fell in love with a dark skinned Hispanic girl. Get over it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys understand where I'm coming from. But seriously, not to sound mean. It's just, it's ridiculous. Now, on countering that, talking. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I seem to like to talk quite a bit sometimes. Again. All of these things, all these positive things that I'm naming are all things that you can use as outlets. That's why I love coming to you guys and uploading these videos for you guys because it's another form of talking to the public. Okay? So, um...
Another thing, let me see, that I like to do as well. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little shy because there's people around me, and they're probably looking at me like I'm weird, that I'm talking into a phone, which they don't understand what's going on. But, yeah, I'm not going to let that stop me because that's part of talking to YouTube, being courageous. Okay, so I said talking is another outlet. Now, another thing that I don't like is, I'm sorry because I'm reading off a list that I made that um, I didn't want to forget what I wanted to say. So, Okay, so yeah, I did mention this. I don't like when people assume that because of my, my skin color that I'm a, a specific type of race. You know, I can't really blame the people that assume, but it's kind of like judging. Like, you know, you're judging already. Like, you know, I'm Hispanic, and a lot of Hispanic people, are, not every race has that specific type of, let's say, light skin or caramel skin or Indian type of skin. No, that's that, every race comes in every different shape, sizes, and colors. So come on, please, educate yourself, people. Educate yourself. Now, another thing that I do like is I like sweets, but I don't want to make it seem like, oh my God, I'm like a sweet head, because I'm not. I wrote down here that I love chocolate slash sweets. I have my moments, as I said before, I don't eat sweets very often because just that's just how I was raised, not to eat a lot of candy. So, which I'm glad about that, and I am, you know, hopefully going to pass that down to my children one day. Not that candy is too bad, but, you know, too much of anything is not good. So, I have my moments. You ladies know when it's that time of the month, that's one of the moments. I like to eat my chocolate. Or just random times when I just feel like, ah, I guess my body asks me for some type of sugar or something. I do it. And I think last but not least, oh, <laughs> this is a good one. I cannot stand when parents are not paying attention to their kids. Why are you outside with your kids if you're not going to pay attention to them? Oh, my God. This right here should have been the first thing I should have named because I literally could go on and on and on and on and on, and on about this. But I'm not. I'm not going to bore you guys. I cannot stand, you know, I want to commend all those parents out there. I'm not trying to put down anybody or judge. But, oh my gosh, there's so many parents on there. What are you doing? What are you doing that you're so busy that you cannot pay attention to your kid when we're either outside, at the doctor's, or crossing the street from school? What are you doing? You're too busy being on your phone, probably on Facebook, when you should be paying attention to your child about to run off to the street. Seriously, it becomes annoying for those that don't have any kids, and this kid is just running around like a psycho, being a wild child, while well, you over there, oh my God, in the supermarket. Mm, perfect example. Either supermarket or in the shopping clothing stores. I hate, like I said, I don't like using this word, but I cannot stand when I'm in the store shopping and you see these little kids just running around, bumping into you, and you try to be all, ah, try to be nice, but when you really want to grab that little sucker, mm, and choke him up <laughs> but you know what you can't do that because then you get in trouble now something similar to that that also has to relate with kids that I don't like is when there's a child walking by themselves or head of the parents right and they just come and want to grab my dog carry my dog touch my dog who said you can do that you know, first of all, as a parent, you need to be careful. You shouldn't be leaving your kid either too ahead of you or behind you. It, it's not good either way. You need to have either your child next to you or, I don't know, get one of those leashes. Even though, ooh, my dog just made me go around. I don't know. Do something. But that's not safe because a lot of these puppies, not all dogs are kid-friendly. So now... 
if you just let your kid walk ahead of you running up to my dog not that my dog does that I'm lucky my doggy is a very good doggy and that she's you know uh, kid friendly she um you just don't let your kid do that because there's a lot of doggies that do not like kids and you know they can bite they can bite then next thing you know if your child gets hurt what are you gonna try to do you're probably gonna be upset at that person because your dog just decided to jump on your kid's face but guess whose fault is that whose fault is that it's not the owner's fault because the owner did not know that your kid is just going to jump in front of your dog while your dog is just doing his normal stuff that doggies do and you don't say nothing to your kid. So now that becomes a bigger problem. You might want to sue, think you're going to get all this money because your dog should have been da -da -da. No. You as a parent need to be responsible and take care of your kid and make sure your kid is always by your side. So yeah. <laughs> Sorry, people, if I got a little too emotional and a little aggressive there. But these are points that I really, you know, it really bothers me. It really does. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Uh, subscribe if you like. Click the like button if you like. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Tag this video if you want instead of just doing that's that ish that you don't like. Maybe you should do those are the things I do like and these are the things I don't like. So thank you for watching again and see you guys later. Bye!